Hi everybody, it's Miss Mackenzie here and I'm filming this video from my home. How exciting. Now, today's lesson is all about making your own ruler. And what we need to do for that is we need to find something to use for units. So usually on a normal ruler, we have centimeters or millimeters to show us what the units are. But this time we're making our own ruler. So we need something else and you get to choose what that is. That's pretty exciting. So what I've done is I've already looked around my house and I found a few different things that I'm going to try. I found some band-aids. Okay. I found muesli bars and I have also found this is my little tea box and inside I've got all different kinds of tea I don't know if you guys like tea but I love tea okay so I've got peppermint and green tea and I've got lemon and ginger I've got so many different teas anyway who cares about that we're talking about units here. So I've got tea that I can use for units as well. All right, so I'm gonna make three different rulers because I've got three different units. Okay, the first thing I need to do is get my paper ready. So I've got my paper and I also need a pencil or if you're feeling super duper confident, you could use a texter or a pen, okay? So I'm going to use this so that you can see exactly what I've done. And it's a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit tricky for me to film this video because I'm here by myself. And usually I'd have a handy dandy camera woman by the name of Mrs. Linegar to help me. So let's see how this goes. Hopefully you understand what I mean. All right. Uh, let's get started. So on my paper, I'm going to line up my units. Now, you can do this with lots of the same unit. So here's my band-aids. I'm going to line them up like this. See how I'm lining them up? And then I'm going to draw a little dash in between each part. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can. I'm going to make it nice and close. See? Now, don't worry, if you don't have a whole bunch of band-aids, you can actually do it with only one band-aid. Let me show you. So, I've already started. All I need to do now is I need to line up my band-aid right here, right on the last dot that I made. And then draw the next one, see? Then I move it along. Draw my dot, see, move it along like that, okay? Just like that, okay? And I'm actually going to skip forward and do this all the way to the end, but you don't need to watch me doing that. So I'm gonna quickly do that now. Okay, here I am at the end, and you might notice that at both ends of my ruler, I can't actually fit the whole band-aid, see? It's sticking off the edge. And over here, sticking off the edge. So that means that I need to cut my ruler at the last dot. I can't cut it here, okay? Because that's not a whole band-aid's worth, all right? Maybe I can make my next one better. I wonder if you can think about how I could make my next one better while I cut this out, okay? You think about that. Um, right, now I need a ruler and I don't have one at my house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find something nice and straight so that I can draw a nice straight line. Let's see what I can find. Now I don't always eat cereal. I usually like to eat toast or pancakes. But 
I have a complex box and I'm going to use this to draw a nice straight line. It's going to be kind of hard for me to show you that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up my cornflakes box like this, draw a nice straight line right through or underneath my dots, and then I'm going to cut it out. Okay, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, there's my line. And then I'm going to draw another one right underneath. There's my other line. And now all I need to do is cut it out. So I'm going to go and get some scissors. Dun, 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 dun. Make sure you use kid scissors, and if you don't have kid scissors, your parents need to either supervise you or they need to cut it out for you, okay? All right. I'm just cutting along the lines. Look what happened. I was rushing. So what I need to do now is I need to cut along this line. This line. And I might sticky tape that bit together. Not a big deal. I'll just sticky tape it together. If you don't have any sticky tape, you could glue it. And if you don't have any glue, you might need to make another one. It's okay. It's just practice. Okay, so here it is. Now, I need to sticky tape that, but also I think I need to make these a little bit stronger. So I'm going to go over them a little bit. There we go, much better. And now I need to count them. I need to add numbers. So you always start at zero. Okay, so I'll start with zero and then I'll count one, two, three, four, five up until there's no more dashes left. And you don't need to write that part super big. You just need to be able to see it when you're measuring. There we go. See? And that's it. I've done a ruler. Now I'm going to label this ruler a special name. I'm actually going to call it the Band-Aid ruler. So I remember what I'm measuring by. Because my units, funnily enough, are Band-Aids. So Band-Aid ruler. All finished now I'm going to do a couple more if you know how to make a ruler now and you don't need to watch any more then you can go ahead and get started you don't need to watch the rest of this video but I'm going to continue for those people who want to see it again okay all right the next one I'm going to use is the tea bag so I've got my tea bag and I'm only going to use a few of them actually because last time I only used one but this time I'm actually going to line them up and I'll pick up the camera and I'll show you what it looks like so did you come up with a solution to that problem you know how we said that I could have made my ruler a little bit better now while I'm lining them up I need to make sure that there's no spaces in between them 
because otherwise I'm not measuring that space. Okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Dun, da, da, da. Okay, now I just need to put some dashes in between each tea bag and on the edges. How funny, I only needed four. All right, I'm going to get started with that. So I put one on the end. I don't know if you noticed, but did you see what I did to make this ruler better than the last one? Did you see it? Okay, I don't need my tea bags anymore because look, I've done it. And have a look. This time my ruler is better because it starts at the edge of the page so I can fit in some more units. Now, got my straight line, going to draw it. Lining it up really carefully. Take your time, you don't need to rush. There we go. I'm going to do an edge this time. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, I'm going to cut it out. I've actually noticed that a little friend in my house is very interested in rollers. I might show him to you in a second. A little sneak peek. All right, here it is. Now I'm going to make my marks a little bit bigger. And this time I've got a little bit of extra on the top. Now I want to be able to put these little marks right next to anything that I measure. So I need to make sure I cut that bit off. So make sure your marks are underneath. Can you see how mine's on both sides of the lines? Because otherwise you'll cut off the whole mark and you'll have to start again. Now, do you remember the next step? It's something about counting the units. That's right, you need to number them. I'm gonna start with zero over here, and then I'm gonna count up. There we go. So that's the tea bag ruler. I'm going to name it tea bag ruler. See? And how interesting that there were less tea bags needed than the band aid ruler. But if we look at them together, a little bit hard for me but I'll show you this way or maybe this way around there we go even though I needed less tea bags the tea bag units were way bigger I wonder if anyone can figure out why that is hmm? so now I've got two different rulers and I can go around my house and measure stuff with them I reckon that's pretty cool now, I've also got muesli bars and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to show you how to make a, a ruler out of muesli bars because I think you can get it now. Shall we get my little friend up here to say hello? If you've stuck around this long, then you deserve it. Where is he? I'm going to go and find him. Here he is. 
his name is Theo. <laughs> Say hello, Theo. <laughs> I think he really wants to go and sleep in his really warm box by the window. Sorry, buddy. I think the kids wanted to say hi. <laughs> okay, guys, have a lot of fun making your rulers. And, oh, don't forget, you can decorate them and make them awesome. It's your ruler, okay? Don't forget to have fun and measure some stuff with it. All right, bye.